Growth mindset is almost a buzzword at this stage, and it is really important and can be a useful barometer in music practice for both teachers and for parents like you. So growth mindset, if you're not familiar, is the idea that you can get better at things. We all have growth mindsets and fixed mindsets about different things in our lives. There are some things that we believe naturally that I could get better if I tried and we're more likely to try and get better. But there are some things we all have those fixed mindsets about. I'm just this way, right? If you're someone who thinks I'm just bad at maths or I'm just not a writer or whatever it is, that's something you have a fixed mindset about. Now in music, this comes up as I'm not musical, which is my least favorite phrase in the world probably, because it goes back to this idea of natural talent in music. And while everyone has aptitudes and things for different things, there's no such thing as musical and not musical. Even prodigies spent an enormous amount of time studying their instrument. So when people talk about talent, it honestly irks me because it takes away the effort that that student put into practicing. It is all about practice and then it's a tiny little percentage that decides that based on their aptitude that decides whether they're going to go to you know soloist level or just orchestra level or just hobby musician level who's already really good still anyone who practices can get to one of those levels right i don't believe there's some natural magical ability so having said that growth mindset is really important for music students and for their studies in general, for kids growing up, that they believe that they can get better if they put work in. Now, the reason this is relevant to you is about the words you choose when you're praising your child around music. Praise is really important, and especially from a parent. I know parents don't often see this themselves, especially when their kids get a little bit early, older, but honestly, take it from someone who sees them week after week from the outside, you are their world. You are everything to them. They hang on words you say. And I know that sounds like a lot of pressure, but it can also be wonderful. When a kid hears that their parent really loves a particular piece, I promise you they practice it 10 times harder. <laughs> so the words you choose matter. Now that's not, as I say, to put pressure on you and make you come up with the perfect words every time. But if you can try to tweak your language towards more of a growth mindset outlook, that can be really helpful. So this is focusing on the effort they put in, basically. Instead of saying, wow, that piece is amazing, you're so talented, you say, wow, that piece sounds fantastic, now you've put in so much work. Or you must be so proud of yourself because I know that was really hard to learn, but you've got it. So it's about focusing on the effort they put in that took them to where they are now or the effort that they're putting in right now. If they're struggling with something, you can still praise them for going through the struggle. Wow, you played that 10 times and I know it's not quite there yet, but you're really working hard at it and you will get there. So focusing your effort, your praise on the effort is really, really wonderful for your kids and developing their growth mindset. 